I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I am getting sick and tired of Apple products just being the exact same thing. Like there are certain product lines where every single time a new version gets announced, it feels like it's almost the same thing as last year and the year before that and the year before that. And I think that is perfectly explained and that was perfectly explained in yesterday's Apple event, which was solely focused on the iPad. We had two new products revealed and we're going to talk about them today. So let's kick things off with what Apple kicked off, the new iPad Air. And let's just say that there's not much uh, changes to it. There is, I mean, let's see, let me try and think off the top of my head, what is new? I mean, aside from the obvious, the fact that there is now a 13 inch iPad Air. So yay for that, I guess, you know, for people who want to pay a lower price for that 13 inch experience. I mean, I personally wouldn't use a 13 inch iPad, but if you would, and you don't want to spend a thousand dollars for the pro, go ahead, you have the air. And let's see, it has the M2 processor now instead of the M1. So faster performance. Let's see, the Apple Pencil is, uh, I think almost the same. There is, uh, I think a new smart keyboard, but who knows, I think that could be uh, for the iPad uh, Pro as well. But besides that, I can't think of anything new. And who knows, maybe the smart keyboard is for the iPad Pro. I'm tripping on the smart keyboard, which is strange because you look at that keyboard, it's basically uh, a MacBook, uh, it's basically a MacBook keyboard. Like, you look at this photo right now, and I'll show you a picture of my MacBook keyboard. Like, look at these two side to side. Like, where is the difference? Like, I am impressed with how much they're trying to make the iPad as close as it can to the MacBook. Even though in my opinion, it's not as good as the MacBook, but that's for you to say. So now we get into the absolute beast that is the new iPad Pro. And the biggest thing is that we have a new processor and that is the M4. Yeah, I think that's the first time, and I think in the history of the, like the ARM processors, the Apple Silicon chips, that an M chip was revealed with an iPad, not a MacBook. The M1, M2, M3 were all revealed with the with the MacBooks. Now this time we have an iPad debuting the M4. I did not expect that, and yeah, let's just say. There's a lot of hype around it. We also have new versions of Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro on the iPad, which by the way, look incredibly dope. Uh, if, I, if, I was an, if I was an editor uh, using the iPad, I mean, I would love to use Final Cut Pro on the iPad, but it's a monthly subscription. But to be fair, I would rather have a monthly subscription than pay $300 uh, lifetime. I mean, that's just for me. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I don't wanna save up just to have a, an editing software that does not look as good as the one on the iPad. Yep, I said it, come fight me. So yeah, we have those things. We also have a new Apple Pencil, the Apple Pencil Pro, which apparently has the ability to do so many different types of shadings. You have a lot of different haptic feedback. You can scroll through uh, all your different types of uh, stuff that you wanna use for your images. Like it's basically taking the artist game to the next level. and. Uh, for, for people who are artists, you know, good for them. And I think the prices for almost all models are the same. I think, I think the iPad Air got cheaper, but I think the iPad Pros are the same. And I think they also cut down the cost of that Android looking uh, iPad. So yeah, that's good for people who wanna buy that. But yeah, that's basically all there was at this Apple event. I think they're saving big stuff for the uh, WWDC that's happening in one month. So, I mean, I'll definitely be watching that. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing what I did last year, which is like talking about it like loosely, because last year the Apple Vision Pro was revealed and that was worthy enough to get a whole video. But I think this year it'll probably just be software. But if, if we get our new Mac Pros, our Apple Vision Pros, you know, moments like that, I'll definitely talk about it on this channel. So with that being said, keep innovating Apple. Keep making the same thing every year.